Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Kali Linux on your Windows 11 operating system. For this, you will require two things. One is VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a tool which allows you to run various operating systems on your host machine. For example, you can run Kali Linux virtually on your Windows 11 operating system using VirtualBox. And then we will also require the VirtualBox file for Kali Linux so we will download it from the official Kali Linux website. So first of all let's see how we can install VirtualBox on Windows 11. So first of all just open your favorite browser and search for VirtualBox and the first link which will appear here will be from virtualbox.org so we are going to just click on this link and once virtualbox.org website opens directly you will be able to see download button here. Otherwise, you can also click on the downloads link here and you will go to the downloads page, right? So I'm going to just click on this button and here you will be able to see the installation package for different operating systems. So we want VirtualBox for Windows operating system. So we will choose Windows hosts and it's going to download VirtualBox exe file on my windows 11 operating system so once this exe file is downloaded i'm going to just click on this file and i'm going to minimize my browser and you can see the installer has been started so on this first setup window you just need to click on the next button and here you can just leave everything as default and the default location for VirtualBox will be this location. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next. So on the next window, you can see uh, the custom setup uh, window. And here you can leave everything as checked. And uh, this is going to uh, create a desktop icon of VirtualBox on your Windows 11 operating system and it's going to create a shortcut in the quick launch bar and other features. So I generally leave all the checkboxes checked and then I click on the next button. And at this point you just need to press yes and then click on install which is going to start the process of installation of VirtualBox. And if you see this kind of warning just click on yes and now you can see the VirtualBox installation has been started. You just need to wait for some time until this installation is finished. If you see uh, this kind of warning, would you like to install this uh, device software? This means that VirtualBox wants to install some uh, device software on your Windows 11 operating system. So I trust VirtualBox to install these uh, software on my Windows 11 operating system. So I will click on install. And now I can see that this VirtualBox icon is created on my desktop. And in few seconds, you will see this message which says Oracle VirtualBox installation is complete. And at this point, just leave this checkbox as checked, which is going to launch VirtualBox and then click on finish. So now I can see that VirtualBox has been started on my Windows 11 operating system. Now, once you have VirtualBox on your Windows 11 operating system, Let's go ahead and let's see how we can install the Kali Linux virtual uh, box file in order to run it on our Windows 11 operating system. So for this, what you need to do, you just need to search for Kali Linux. And the first link which will appear here will be from kali.org. So I'm going to click on this link. And here you will uh, directly see the download space. So I'm going to click on the downloads button here and here you have two things the installer images and virtual machines so because we want to uh, install the virtual machine for kali linux we can choose this option which says virtual machines and under pre-built virtual machine section you can choose for which virtual machine you want to download the kali linux so first of all select 64 bit here and then select virtual box here okay so just select virtual box which is going to download this zip file which is around 2.7 gb so just wait for the download to complete so now uh, this uh, zip file is downloaded 
I'm going to go to my uh, downloads folder where this 7-zip file is downloaded. Uh, if you don't have 7-zip installed, just install it because this is a .7-zip file and you might require the 7-zip uh, tool in order to extract it. So for example, when I click on this zip file, uh, my Windows operating system doesn't recognize that this is a 7-zip file because I don't have 7-zip tool installed on my Windows 11 operating system. So first of all, I need to install it. So just search for 7-zip on uh, any browser and the first link which will appear here will be from 7-zip.org. Just click on this and then click on uh, the first link which is for 64-bit operating system. It's not a very big file. Just uh, click on this 7-zip uh, executable you downloaded and then click on install which is going to install 7-zip on your Windows 11 operating system. So installation is uh, very fast and now just go to the folder where you have downloaded Kali Linux 7-zip file. Right click there or you can even double click there and then you can just click on browse an app on your pre PC and then uh, in the program files you just go to 7-zip and then here choose 7-zip FM so it's called 7-zip file manager dot exe file just select this and then click on open and then click on uh, always here which is going to open this file in the 7-zip and here what you need to do you can extract this uh, folder anywhere in your file system so just click on extract and then click uh, this uh, folder to any place where you want on your file system i'm going to extract it to my d drive so i will select d and then click on ok and then click on ok which is going to extract uh, this folder in the d drive of my uh, windows operating system so now the extraction is done. Let me go to my D drive. Here this folder is created. Now you can see there are two files here. One is .vbox file and other is .vdi file. We will need both the files. So let me open my virtual box first of all and let's see uh, if there is any uh, Kali Linux virtual machine here or not. So, so you can see there is no Kali Linux uh, virtual machine uh, which I have created here and you need to observe what happens when I click on this .vbox file. So just click on .vbox file and once you click on .vbox file, you will see that this Kali Linux 2022.4 uh, is created automatically on VirtualBox. So you just need to click on this file and it will be added to your virtual box automatically okay so this is created when you click on the this dot v box file once this is already added just copy the path from here and we will use the vdi uh, file also so now click on uh, this uh, kali linux uh, virtual machine click on settings here and then click on uh, system here so you can see motherboard is okay but processor you can always increase to 4 and then uh, acceleration I will leave it as default display I will leave it as default and here in uh, the controller you will be able to see this VDI file automatically selected right so this took the same path uh, where my uh, Kali Linux VBox file is there if you don't see it here you can always click on this plus sign and then you can just click on this add button and then navigate to your uh, Kali Linux folder where you have the VDI file. Okay, so just select that VDI file from here if you don't see it here because I can see this here. I don't need to do anything. Okay, you can uh, change all these settings later also and the main setting is for this one. So you should see this dot vdi file automatically selected here i'm going to click on ok and then select once again and click on start and now i can see this kind of window so when i click on the start button it starts the new installation of kali linux so just wait for some time uh, until you see the next uh, command and now your virtual machine is ready the default username and password is kali and kali so just write K-A-L-I as the username and K 
A L I as the password and then click on login and you can see this virtual machine has been started I can click on the maximize button and you can see everything is working seamlessly okay so from here I can open the command prompt and uh, then I can type some commands for example I can write if config here and then press enter it shows me the network related stuff for me right so from now on you can start using this Kali Linux uh, virtual machine on your Windows 11 operating system using VirtualBox right so this is how you can download and install Kali Linux on your Windows 11 operating system using VirtualBox I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video